Hey guys, welcome back to another creepy video compilation that's going to keep you up all night. If you're new here, please help me get this recommended to others by liking this video. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to keep seeing videos just like this. My father at that point, my father did not understand the, uh, because this information did not come out until later, but he didn't understand the close relationship between the CIA and the mob. At that point, he was thinking, oh, Oh, this must have been a mob hit and they were angry at me for prosecuting the mob and that's why they killed my brother so it was kind of devastating for him but he didn't understand that the that the mob and the cia were essentially one organization working together a lot of the times anyway i always assumed that he you know my uncle was by uh, by a group and i always assumed that sir my father was just by sir Ann, and sir Ann was alone then paul schrade who was the united auto workers leader who got that night in the head he took the first and and went down but then he survived and he in fact i'm going to his funeral tomorrow i'm oh, speaking wow. in his service yeah tomorrow and i'm speaking at his service but paul schrade made me come to his house and then sat me down with the autopsy report and basically forced me to read it and you know once i read that report i was okay this guy could not have not a lot of people know this but the jfk family was actually bootleggers. They were bootlegging when uh, alcohol was, was illegal during Prohibition. There actually is evidence that they have mob ties. So do with that what you will. This is why I can't do ring cameras. So this photo was taken at 3 a.m. on a ring camera just outside of Spokane, Washington Ugh. on March 17th, 2017. Jesus. Which, as if that's not scary enough, the same man was seen photographed on 13 other ring cameras in the area, all at 3 a.m. At first, police believed it was an attack orchestrated by a group of people, but a closer look made them realize it was the same man. One witness claimed she was awoken at 3 a.m. to what sounded like a baby crying, and that's when she got the alert that something was seen on her ring camera. She also claimed that since this happened, she's felt like someone's been watching her. This man was never found by police, but a user on Reddit based in Chicago recently posted that she also saw something weird on her ring camera. She said her and her neighbors all got an alert uh, at 3 in the morning that someone wearing a mask was seen at their door. Dude, that image where he's leaning over gives me the heebie-jeebies. But today we're going to talk about all these antennas. Now what's interesting is this is the 1890s Los Angeles, right? Look at all those antennas. You think they were gathering lightning? It doesn't make any sense because then the whole place would burn down. But they're all over the place. Now what's interesting is you see this design all over the world and even Harvard is asking what is in these? And what do they do? Could they be brass balls with mercury in them? And we look at some other designs and we see that there's usually an antenna on top with some mercury below it, some copper, granite and quartz, and these were actually energy generators. Sounds almost like they were getting free energy. Maybe that's why they also removed all the pipe organs as well. And if we take it a step further, we can see this one, same thing, antenna at the top, mercury cell below, harmonizer, Bro. frequency, and energy storage. Almost like one big battery that's gathering energy the entire time and then providing everybody with free electricity. Then if we take it one step further and we look at mercury right here and you put it in front of a voltmeter and you begin to spin it, you create voltage. Yes. It's almost like those were brass balls filled with mercury that would somehow cause a spin which would result in electric. Now, if you take copper and do the exact same thing, you don't get any voltage. But the mercury, mm -hmm. you get voltage. Something to think about. That is exactly like the, the Tesla thing that I was talking about in the other video that he invented a way to create free energy. And the pyramids actually have the same elements inside them. That's why they think they might have been our plants. The Department of Defense were exploring plans of creating a moon base. And there are government documents declassified that show that they wanted to build a base on the moon. Now, allegedly, they never did. So we think that, you know, after a couple dune buggy rides on the surface of the moon and a couple great quotes and some videos here and there, ultimately we never went back. There absolutely could still be that connection between the space program and defense. I know you guys have heard or have at least seen that a lot of the uh, images that we have on Mars, they're fake. They're actually places here on Earth. And also, I think they, they've put orange filters over, over Mars pictures mm -hmm. for some reason. Beds were built with sound. <laughs> Who 
of researchers from Spain and UK have discovered a new technique of acoustic levitation that allows an object to move independently on any axes. This is done using a specific kind of sound wave to lift the object on its own. These sound waves are called standing sound waves, and they are basically sound waves that reflect off of a surface and back through themselves, creating small points called nodes. These nodes can be used to literally lift objects. I can 100% believe that. Uh, look up Graham Hancock's theories on how the pyramids were built. And the pyramids are actually not even tombs. They're power plants, allegedly. Trying to find the local game store toilets. Uh, so apparently this is where the toilets are for this venue. They've told me to go down into the caves and then find some gravel and then that's where the toilets will be. Is that it? <laughs> Hello? Looks like a setup. Probably not that way. Yeah. Hell. Well. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this gravel? <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> oh, here we go. The sinks. Ah, there you go. Toilets. <laughs> it looks creepy, but I'm not gonna lie, they, they look pretty dope. I would design my house like that. I ordered ketchup from the dark web. Let's unbox this and see what we got. What's inside here? Oh, there is definitely something. Is this actual ketchup? It's suspiciously red. What's this packet? This looks like forbidden ketchup. Why are there lumps in the bottle? Sniff, sniff. Creepy ketchup. Is this some kind of syringe? What am I supposed to do with this? Ketchup and a syringe. Let's take a closer look. This is red and lumpy. I don't trust this condiment. This is not good ketchup. I don't think this was made with tomato. I don't think it's blood. It's too watery and bright to be blood, but I definitely wouldn't eat that. Yeah, look at that. They're literally like the same height. Oh, a count? Okay. What? She has six fingers <laughs> in each hand. Dude, she, she oh, literally... Oh, a count? Okay. She literally has six fingers. Twelve, twelve fingers total. That is crazy. I did not know that could happen. I'm, I'm actually impressed. Damn, what truck is that? I want that truck. That is crazy. It looked like a Tacoma from far away. I need to get me a Tacoma. I would not be putting my hand anywhere near that close to that thing's face. Police say a man in a U-Haul truck intentionally rammed security barriers near the White House. Now that man has been charged with threatening to or harm the president, vice president, or their family. Dang, man. I swear more and more people are losing their minds. That's crazy. And what I think it is. I found the back rooms. Well, look at that. You did. So empty. All alone. That is very creepy. Try 
Yeah, there, there's so many buildings that are just abandoned now. I think the actual uh, real estate crash is like right around the corner. Celebrity chef and oh, author wow. Rocco Despirito loves Don't lobster. Lobster roll, the iconic American dish, should yeah. be a, all lobster. You think what he's saying should be obvious. You order lobster, you get lobster, right? Uh, not always. We tried out lobster dishes of every conceivable kind at 28 restaurants around the country. It may shock you to learn that in 35% of our samples, instead of lobster, we found cheap fish okay, substitutes. At Red Lobster, the largest seafood chain in America, we tested the lobster bisque from three locations and scooped out the meat. Then we sent it off to a lab. We do look at it carefully, but then the, the final answer is done by DNA analysis. According to the lab, the lobster in one sample was actually langostino. Two others had a combination of langostino and lobster. They're pulling a subway. You guys remember when, uh, well, I guess up until recently, the, uh, the chicken breast that you were getting wasn't real chicken breast. It was something else, apparently. I don't remember. So here is but if you actually take a look down inside there are stairs down there no looks like these stairs used to go up further do not go sense. down there what i find really weird is that all the lights all these there are these lights are on so that tells me that they're still something active here in just looks like someone's run up and got cut off and buried. Yep. I'm gonna talk too much, just go for it, bro. Anticipate if anyone's gonna be around here. I, I don't hear anyone, but the lights are on and I have no clue I'm stepping in. Mm -hmm. On Wednesday, this I think was about as far as I got. I haven't gone any further than this. I sort of chickened out and ran back up to go home, get some more space to record my phone since I was really low. Some of you guys are a little too comfortable exploring abandoned anything. I would have nope so quick out of there. Y'all wouldn't believe what I found out. See how this say authorized King James Version? We got a problem. This say 66 books is right here. Well, I went to go find out what King James actually authorized. This is what he authorized in 1611. Yeah, this. In 1611, when he authorized it, there was a New Testament, there was an Apocrypha, and there was an Old Testament. 80 books how they go from old testament and new testament with no apocrypha there's actually a lot of books missing and the theory is that maybe the vatican is hiding them all because there's some stuff in there that they don't want the rest of us to know every single day now we are getting closer to westworld style robots that are indistinguishable from human beings this is golem a robotic arm the brainchild of automation robotics the firm has created an innovative robotic arm powered by synthetic muscles based on water pressure. This arm will have a full range of motion and the ability to lift heavy objects like weights. It would make an excellent prosthetic for someone with a missing arm or an excellent weapon. That actually doesn't freak me out when it comes to body modifications and prosthetics. I mean, a lot of people could use that, so that's cool, I guess. I kid you not, I just squeezed this lemon in here because I'm about to cook some fish. And there was not one seed in this lemon. Like, those are pieces of garlic. I haven't even squeezed this one out. The only piece I see is this little tiny one. I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna see if there's any more on this other side because like, I've never seen a lemon that didn't have seeds. I can't get it off, hold on. Like, I don't see no seed in here. 
like what the that's literally pieces of garlic in there because I just put garlic in there I'm so confused I don't see any seeds in here yeah GMO for sure I, I doubt there's there's anything left natural in our food. Everything is is so processed nowadays. This is a quick video. I'm at my school right now. I just want to show you something because the state just came just came last week and um, decided what books were appropriate or inappropriate. So I'm gonna figure out how to show you. Inappropriate. This is a book that's been deemed inappropriate. These are the boxes of books waiting to go out. Look how big this box is. I'm going to show you some of the titles. Show them this one too. Black to Aviation. Yep. We have um, 20th Century Writers. We have Rosemary in the Woods. American The Hauntist. The Big Lie. The Big Lie. Right. It's all about Judaism. Women of Nigeria. Hitler, El Salvador. These are presidential. Just, these are just a few of the books that have been deemed inappropriate. Lewis and Clark. They're removing these books from our library. Jefferson Republic. I, I don't. I don't understand. Guys, this is getting out of control. They're gonna start banning all your uh, algebra books next, and they're not gonna teach anything anymore. Why is a UK company that is setting the standards for 5G and AI technology providing parts for this American toy? Why does it have that sensor in it? It's not a light sensor. It's clearly not a light sensor. Why does this thing have a camera? Why does this thing say in the user manual that it can interrupt radio frequencies? <laughs> Why can't you take it apart? What is that button? Why is this UK company providing parts for a baby doll? Why would a baby doll need that in it? <laughs> Why would a baby doll need that in it? You should take it apart and find out. I didn't believe that these were actually eggs that grew on plants. I wanted to show you that they in fact are. As you can see, they break open like eggs and eggs come out of them. And I'll show you that they cook just like eggs do. These are a vegan alternative to eggs. Thanks for watching. I absolutely don't believe that at all. I mean, do you guys believe that? I call bull crap. What I didn't realize was when you click I'm not a robot, what it actually does when you press that button, they're collecting data at the same time. Have a listen. Ticking the box is not the point. It's how you behaved before you ticked the box that is analyzed. Oh. Broadly speaking, you tick the box and it prompts the website to check your browsing history. So let us say, for example, just before you tick the box, you watched a couple of cat videos, you, I don't know, liked a tweet about uh, Greta Thunberg, you checked your Gmail account before you got down to work. All of that makes them think that you must be a human. Essentially, when you are clicking, I am not a robot, you are instructing the site to have a look at your data and decide for, oh, the, for wow. itself. Let me get this right. When you tick, I am not a robot, mm. it, it can go through your history. Yeah, you're, yeah, authorizing, you're authorizing it. Yeah, you're telling it it's okay. Go and have a look what I've been looking at. Damn. That's crazy. Not even I knew about that one. I thought it was just to get access to the website. I guess not. Well, we're all screwed. If you guys don't know what's going on, then you need to watch this video. Watch how the famous actor Tyrese from Fast and the Furious exposes Hollywood. Check this out. As much as I'm supposed to be promoting this movie and talking about my album, I just feel like we're in competition right now because they are trying to normalize the devil. They are trying to populate. The devil is, is on the main stage at award shows and in every video and yeah, signs man. and symbols. And I said, you know what? We need to stop treating our relationship with Jesus like the little buddy that you talk to before you go to bed at night and not be more vocal about all the things that God means to us and all of the things that God has brought us through. Because there's been a lot of moments that you didn't post about. Mm -hmm. But yet you know how did God decide to get yeah. me through this? Yeah, man. And yeah, they going above and beyond to promote the devil. And it's me off. Mm. Because they, 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 they used to, devil worshippers used to be real secretive. Oh, like, yeah. Going down in the basement, this yeah, secret man. world. Now they just now like, they on the ah. Yeah, I mean, 
That's that's pretty true. Pretty out in the open now. That one's actually kind of funny because I think I've seen homeless with, with credit card scanners or skimmers, whatever you call them. Don't get rid of your cash, people. Hold on to your cash if you can. On their security camera, they say a man spent three hours, oh. yes, three hours licking their doorbell. Oh, God. The homeowners were out of town at the time, but their kids were home. They had no idea what was happening outside, but the parents got an alert to movement out in front wow there you go don't do drugs kids don't do drugs if you know you know why do you think in the recent years all the phones have switched to facial recognition technology have you seen this okay infrared lens on the camera boom there was one it's taking pictures two <laughs> so why do you think it's doing that when the phone is already unlocked is it building a more detailed facial profile keeping track of facial expressions, analyzing the eye's point of focus during screen time. Now, why would they need that information? They're constantly monitored by facial recognition cameras that are able to instantly put a face to a name. Guys, if you don't already know by now, your cell phone is a recording device for the government. They're recording you at all times. If you don't know by now, then I, I don't know what to tell you, but they record everything you do. That's exactly why I refuse to buy it. Like, an Alexa or anything like that. They're, they're mapping out your house. Roombas are mapping out your house. It's yeah, you guys are just going to think I'm crazy. <laughs> Chairman Bill Gates arriving for a meeting with community leaders. Watch what happens when a team of hitmen meet him first with a pie in the face. <laughs> Gates was momentarily and understandably shaken, but he was not injured. The hit squad piled on with two more pies. Nice. Before one of them was wrestled to the ground and arrested. The others for at least the moment and got away. Gates went inside, wiped his face clean, and made no comment. He I know you guys heard about the news that Epstein was blackmailing him. He had some info on Mr. Gates. What the f is doing nothing? Right? That's. Alright, what else? <laughs> Not doing nothing. I don't think that's that crazy. I think there's newer microwaves that, that allow you to put metal stuff in there and it doesn't pop anymore, so that, that one's not that crazy. If that doesn't look satanic, pretty soon they're going to start mounting freaking guns to the top of them. We're going to have a, a curfew. Well, that was the video, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Every single one of you is awesome, and I appreciate all of you guys. So I'll see you in the next video.